Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if your internet time is not syncing, time synchronization has failed on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So there's a variety of issues that could lead to this sort of problem, typically a network connectivity problem. So I do want to point out that in order to have a connection to the Windows time service, you do need to have a stable internet connection. So just want to point that out there. But there's going to be a couple of things we're going to take a look at in today's tutorial. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing I'm going to suggest doing would be to open up the search menu. Search for services. Best match. Should come back with services here. Go ahead and open that up. You want to go down to the Windows time service. And go ahead and double click on it. Set startup type to automatic or automatic delayed start. Either one is fine. And you want to go ahead and start the service. And then select OK. And you may also want to go back into here and select the log on tab. And select local system account. And then allow service to interact with the desktop should be check marked. Select apply. And then OK. And then once you're done with that, you can just close out of here. And you would likely want to restart your computer at this time. And there you go, guys. Hopefully that would have resolved the problem. If not, something else we can try here as well. If you were to open up the search menu, type in settings. Best result, should come back with settings. Open that up. Select time and language on the left panel. And then on the right side, you want to select date and time. And now you want to scroll down a little bit here, where it says set date and time automatically. Toggle that to the on position if you want it to be set automatically. Otherwise, you can manually set the date and time by selecting the change button here. And then you can just set in the correct date and time right here on this page. And you can also sync now by selecting the sync now button. And that's pretty much all you have to do. A little check mark next to it, meaning that it synced up successfully. So pretty straightforward process. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.